For Alice's apron, I started by pinning some scrap tissue paper left over from a pattern onto the dress form to make a pattern for the bodice of the apron. And this is going to be the fold. Next, I folded my apron fabric in half and then placed the pattern that I made so that the center is on the fold. Now I'm going to cut it out. For the apron fabric, I'm using a rough off-white linen because I liked the texture, but you can use whatever fabric you want. Next, I cut out two more pieces using the same pattern without there being the fold in the middle, and these are going to be for the back of the apron. I put the back pieces on the dress form and realized that because there are, there's a little bit of extra room allocated in the front of the apron for the curvature of the chest and there's no curvature on the back, the back portion was a little bit too long. So I cut a little bit off the end so it'll be a bit more even. This is what happens when you make your own patterns, there's a lot of trier trial and error, so I apologize for that, but please bear with me on this project. Next, I zigzagged around the edges to keep it from fraying. <laughs> this fabric really wants to fray a whole lot. And then I put right sides together and then sewed along the top here on both sides. Next, we're going to press it open. And then we are going to do a rolled hem up and down and then around the neck. You don't need to worry about hemming the bottoms here and along the center because we're going to sew that to other things. For the apron base, I just I folded my fabric in half and then cut out a shape so that it was straight at the bottom, straight at the top, and then slightly curved so that it is narrower at the top than the bottom. And next what we're going to do is zigzag around the edges and then do a rolled hem just along the sides. To make the design on the edge of Alice's apron, I cut some, well first I ironed some heat and bond onto some of the leftover black fabric from her skirt, and then I ironed them onto the apron. And now what I'm going to do is, taking a tight zigzag stitch, I'm going to satin stitch along the edge, and then just on the black pieces this way to keep them from fraying. Next we're going to cut two waistband pieces. The first one we are going to sew onto the apron like that and the second one we're going to fold over and hem along one side. Next pin the two waistband pieces together so that the right sides are together and sew along the top. Next putting right sides together we're going to sew the bodice of the apron here and then the two side back pieces of the bodice we're going to sew to the ends of the waistband. Then I folded the waistband in half and sewed everything together. Then I sewed a separating zipper into the back of the apron bodice. Now we're going to make Alice's bow. I started by making my own pattern out of newspaper and then I put it on the fabric on the fold 
So you'll end up, let's see, so the fabric was folded like that, put the pattern on like that, cut around, and then you end up with a shape that looks like this. And you're going to cut four of them. And then zigzag around the edges to keep them from fraying. Next, put two of the bow pieces on top of each other and sew along the edge and along the top and you're going to leave the sides open. Now turn the bow piece so that the right sides are facing out and then top stitch along the edge. Now put right sides together and sew the base bow pieces together at the ends. Now we're going to make the part of the bow that hangs down along the back. So first you're going to cut two rectangles of your desired length. Then you're going to zigzag around the edges to keep them from fraying. And then fold your rectangle in half. And then you're going to sew down one side and then down the other side, leaving this space open. Next, turn the rectangle right side out and top stitch along the edge. After both rectangles have been top stitched, pin them and sew them together at the top. For the tie, cut a rectangle, zigzag around the edges, then fold in half and sew along the sides. Turn the rectangle so that the right sides are out and then top stitch along the edge, then fold over the raw corner and sew it down. Next, wrap the small knot around the rest of the bow pieces and using a whip stitch, sew it together. Now hand sew a pair of snaps to the back of the apron and to the back of the bow. This way we can have the bow be detachable and make it a lot easier to get the costume on and off. And with that, the base of the apron is done. Now you can add any type of weathering or any more details you want to add to the apron. I left the bottom hem unhemmed so that I could, I just kind of cut some slits into the fabric and just started pulling it apart so that it unraveled so that it was intentionally frayed and had that kind of worn look that Alice has in her London version. If you want to do further weathering, I will post a link. Mango Sirene has a really good video on YouTube for how to weather cosplay garments, so I will link to that below. But with that, your apron is done.